Hello, everybody. It's Marvina. I wanted to welcome you to my angel affirmation time. So our angels are really good at helping us to be able to pull from some of the unique qualities that each and every one of us were born with to be able to activate those qualities and keep refining them and taking ourselves up to higher levels of self-mastery and self-awareness. One of the ways that we can do that is to fully understand the law of attraction and how it operates in our life and how we are subjected to those universal laws, whether we know anything about them or not. So I feel like it's so important for us to always understand like the rules of engagement and the law of attraction is one of those rules of engagement. So it's the idea that each and every one of us are magnetic in nature. And because we are magnetic, the thing that sort of calibrates our magnetic attraction are how we are focusing our thoughts and what sort of an emotion that we have whenever we are running that train of thought. And that calibrates and creates like a point of attraction. And then the universe is reading that point of attraction and it is sending to us information that is like nature. So for instance, if we are focused on fear, like we say, for instance, there's a rogue dog that's running around the neighborhood and we see it and we're all afraid that it's going to uh, try to hurt our little dog and we just start dwelling on that. Well, then that fear becomes the point of attraction. And so we're vibrating to the state of mind of the victim and that just plays out, not just with the rogue dog situation, but it carries with us throughout the day as we're driving to get groceries or we're coming home from work or whatever it is that we're doing. If we stay fixated on just that threat that that dog might be uh, on the loose and trying to hurt our little animals, then it just um, creates a victim sort of an energy and a fear pattern in our own personal vibrational field. And it can create um, vulnerability so that, uh, that we might attract problems like an accident or whatever else would put us into a place of being a victim. So that is not desirable. And one of the ways that we can get ourselves out of a negative uh, vibration is by incorporating our angels because they are with us from the time that we're born and they will be with us throughout this entire life journey. And sometimes they even go through multiple lifetimes with us. But when we get them on board, and they are on board actually already, but when we intentionally request that they give us some ideas and a little bit of a heads up about when we might be going down a train of thought that could possibly wreck us or cause us to create circumstances that we really don't want to uh, experience. And they will do that through our intuition, uh, through our emotional body. So if we get like really fixated on a, a, a problem or a perceived problem or a perceived threat, then they will give us a, like a little nudge and, they'll, and like they'll say, okay, Marvina, uh, you know, if you really get worried about that dog, that you're only creating more things for you to worry about. And so what we want to do then is to do some affirmations. Uh, there are many, many different ones that you can use. And I have a lot of those like on other videos and some of my uh, blog posts as well. 
But I also have an angel ebook that if you would like to um, download that, uh, I'll put the link in the description below. And if you sign up for it, I'll send it to you right away. But it also has some ideas that you can use to adjust your vibration so that you're not vibrating to being a victim or to fear or vibrating to negative emotions. Your angels can give you a little nudge. They can't spill the beans for you, though. It's like um, a lot of times my clients want them to just spell it out, like, tell me what I have to do. But um, if they were to do that, then it kind of overrides our free will. And it makes this uh, soul journey kind of the moot point because we um, are being controlled by outside sources. So they just give us a little nudge like, okay, Marvina, don't go down this thread of thought, of, uh, thought process or you could create some problems for yourself. And we just have to recognize that. And usually once you start to really work with some mindset ideas and some self-mastery techniques, you'll recognize like, okay, that's not what I want to create. And I know if I really keep focused on this thread of thought, then I could really set myself up for some disasters. And so this is your opportunity to drive a wedge in between what you're worried about and what you really want. And so that might look like, well, universe, I'm really grateful for um, feeling safe in my yard and I'm grateful to be in this wonderful neighborhood where all of the people are very conscious about their animals and they take good care of their animals. And I really enjoy having fun neighbors that are nice and they're just pleasant to be around and I feel safe. I love feeling safe in this neighborhood. And I like to feel like my animals are safe here as well. It makes me sleep easier at night when I know that I'm in a good place, my animals are in a good place, and all is well. So that is a very simple little affirmation. And, <clears throat> and what it can do is help to turn the tide from the train of thought where you were worried about something that hadn't happened, may never happen, but if you keep riding that, that negative thought pattern, then you could well be creating a bad scenario. So we always want to be very aware of the chain of thoughts and that's why it's so important to uh, really develop a good mindset and use high vibrational thoughts, high vibrational words, and get your angels on board with your desires of what you're wanting to create uh, and dial in on those qualities of what you're wanting to create. There is so much more about the law of attraction and it is just a powerful body of um, thoughts to explore and to kind of meditate on and weave into your life. It helps you to create a lot more powerfully. So if you would like to have more information about using the law of attraction to manifest more powerfully and creatively, uh, be sure and check out uh, some of my mindset programs, especially my self mastery boot camp. I will put the link in the description below. And if you're interested, you could check it out. But it really helps you to work with your angels, your guides, your teachers, and work with some of the universal laws that are relevant in our life, rather we recognize them or not, and be able to put them to use for us and really dial in on creating a mindset and using some really good self-mastery tools so that we can manifest a better life for ourselves.
So I hope you've enjoyed my video today. And if you have questions, uh, be sure and let me know. Email is the best way to connect with me. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.